one. Hi everyone, Chef Peter Bella here. Welcome to this interview. And today I have uh, Danny on with us. So Danny had some problems with anxiety, doubt, fear, decision, and not feeling good enough, and all this say, mental health issues. Um, there, there was a lot of anxiety, and this was affecting him a lot in in his um, uh, career, in his family, and in being himself. And it just feels a lot of in, in your head, you know, and in your thinking, you mm -hmm. know, all the stuff we do mm -hmm. in our mind. And it didn't feel all this. Now it feels now it feels much more confident, much more grounded, much more present, connected, calmer, relaxed, relieved, and just able to handle with whatever life has to offer pretty much in a much more healthier, more confident way. And today we're going to explore a little bit of his background and story and results and the main difference how he felt before. And I feel now. Thank you, uh, Danny, and thank you for being here today. Welcome to the interview. Oh, thank you, Giuseppe. Richard, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, what was the when we did the score call? Thinking back to the score call, how did you feel back then? And what was what were the main problems or challenges you were trying to solve and you were experiencing? Uh, back in the when we had our first discovery call, I was in pretty bad shape. You no, know, mentally, I had been having a lot of panic attacks. Uh, th this was about, let's say six months ago. So after having a lot of stress in my life, I came down with panic attacks and then some of the symptoms that came with that, like you mentioned, um, anxiety and disassociation and intrusive thoughts and all that, like distractive thinking. Um, and so I, there you go, distracted, because that, that, that's not the problem. That's the main difference. I've noticed people, they are recovered they know that's a destruction, not the main problem, because they first they obsess. Mm -hmm. I was on my way to your office, but I'm hearing my own voice. Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, yeah, because I'm oh. at work and some people oh, yeah. walking by. My my fault, yeah. All right, um, yeah. So basically, they obsess on this on that stuff, which I tell them mm -hmm. that's garbage. That's not the problem. It's symptoms. That's not the problem. That's not the problem. That's... So mm -hmm. now you know what the problem is, and we've solved it. Um, so mm -hmm. sorry, keep going. I was just interrupting a little bit. So the main no, problem yeah. was anxiety, yeah. doubt, decision, all the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I had gone through this before, so I, I kind of had a, this, I had gone through it like eight years ago and we, we talked about that. Um, and I knew this time I didn't want it to take as long. I, I it, it affected like a full year of my life and I wanted to tackle it and, and find out, okay, why is this happening again? Uh, I want to, you know, I, if I, I, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And we had that conversation. And, you know, you seem like this is what your passion is and, and your approach from what I watched on YouTube seemed different. And it really seemed like you knew what you were talking about. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I, I don't know if I'm getting off track from your original question, no, no, but no yeah, no just say whatever comes to mind, no problem. You know, it's yeah. all good. Um, okay. So including his wearing, it's good too. <laughs> What's that? Including squaring is good to give some like some yeah. some uh, fight some you know passion to the thing. So okay, so basically yeah. anxiety, decision, you know, all the symptom stuff, all the list, the official list, you know, all that. So let's mm -hmm. let's reassure people that will go like, oh, are you do you, do you have the symptom? Because I have this, you don't have that, you know. No, you mm -hmm. had all the symptoms that you had. Yes, how, how mm -hmm. bad was that? Because everyone thinks okay, mine is different. No, my uh, no, my, I'm better. I'm worse than you. I'm better than you. No, my symptom is different. No, my situation is unique. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So how bad was your situation? And how unique was that? Uh, I, yeah, I too felt like it was unique. I felt like, man, like nobody who has ever gone through this, like thinking these existential thoughts, like all day, 24 seven and coming home. And I, I wasn't even able to be present with my kids, like just talking to my, my wife. Um, I was in my head, like thinking about myself the whole time and all these feelings that I'm going through and I just felt like I was totally disconnected from life and that was that caused a lot of fear and almost terror at some times um, when I would have like a panic state and especially so definitely like, what's that especially when you try to figure them out yeah yeah <laughs> yep so um you know I went through all that. I mean, I know there's pe people have different symptoms, but I think uh, after working with you and becoming more knowledgeable, it's like the symptoms are just like, they're, they're not really the problem. 
So, okay. so focusing. Everyone out there? Everyone out there? <laughs> Okay, I'm not saying that. He's saying that too. He is Eros Goran. He's officially feel great. Okay, mm -hmm. world, can you see? Okay, so they know. Okay, because I say when they, when I say it, they go, "Are you sure?" He's officially recovered. Okay, so just in case you know. <laughs> you know okay, you have, to, you have to you know. Okay, All right. So the symptoms yeah. of the problem. Okay, can you confirm that? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, awesome. I mean... Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, actually, we didn't and, even talk about symptoms in in the, in the in session. We never, I never like, even talk about anxiety. If, if you if you know if you noticed, yeah. At first, I remember. I, yeah, I remember wanting to express some of these. Oh, I want to tell him like mm, mm, mm. what kind of thought I'm having, or, mm, or like the why detail, it, or the it, content, it, yeah, the specific. It, yeah, yeah, but the, but then you would always give me like immediate feedback. Okay, let's stay focused here. Like I could kind of see. You, you 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 knew that that was just getting off track. Like mm -hmm. we got a, a different mm -hmm. problem to solve, so I kind of went with it and I was like, okay, like let's let's see what's happening. Like let's see what he's getting at. I, I think there's something here. Like you know, maybe I do need to stop like trying to address what I'm going through and let let's see what else is going on in my life and internally, emotionally, and all that. So and, and how bad was how much was that affecting you? Like, was it something you could cope, like, we just accept or manage or destruct from, or like, how bad was that? You mean like my day to day life? Yes. yes. Like at that time? Yeah. So, so I mean, was like four months ago, when we started, three more, four months ago, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like in the beginning of March. So, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. But, um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Drinking on, drinking on a yeah. soda, burping it up a little bit. Um, yeah. So it was, it was affecting me. I mean, all day it was, it was affecting me. There, there were some times like I was still able to go to work. And if I was focusing on a certain task, I did find like that would help me get through the day, just being zoned in on something. But I mean, as soon as I would walk somewhere or, or get out of uh, my distraction, it was like, you know, my mind was flooded with the same anxious thoughts and all that stuff. So. And then I, I also found myself not wanting to hang out with friends and not wanting to go to, out to dinner, not wanting to go to the store. So, you know, I, I, thankfully, I feel like it, I am a pretty strong person myself. So I, I, I did also have an advantage of understanding that, you know, I, I need to face these fears. I can't limit myself and just stay in my room all day. So I know part of my recovery was owning up like I, I still got to do these things. I still got to go to work. I still got to hang out with a friend, even if I don't want to. Um, so I think that kind of helped me as well. Um, just having that mindset and, you know, would that, would that alone, would that have helped? Because some people say you, you have to force self, accept it, destroy yourself. If you take all this like techniques in, in isolation, it, even all of them, and you would have applied them, how would you think we would have gone? Like the, the accepting, destruction of forcing, just, just live your, move on with your life, you know, all the, stuff advised out, uh, out there did you try that I, I i did try that and and like i think eventually i would have figured things out like but i do think it would have taken a lot longer i think i think i would have been able to distract myself and um you know keep myself busy and acceptance and all that but i do think there was those underlying emotional issues that if i didn't get into those and really understand myself and, and the way I'm viewing the world and the way mm -hmm. I'm internalizing events. Um, mm -hmm. I think, I think that would have stayed underneath the surface for a long time. And, you know, maybe I would have felt a little better, but then I would have had a continual relapse. Comes back, knows, comes but, back, yeah. Comes so back, yeah. I think di di yes. doing the work and digging those things up and kind of understanding myself better. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah, helps. The stuff they things. didn't think about on a conscious level, I guess. Like it was like, um, uh, I don't know if I can share this. There was like a, ne a negative experience you had, like a bullying. I don't know if I can mention this. Um, they felt yeah, that's fine. And connect with people. So all the stuff they would think, oh, it's nothing, you know, it's there, like leave mm -hmm. it there. But especially when there's important people or friends, they start like, could start to internalize these things and we start to make their their view of the world our own, you know. So just be able mm -hmm. to live. Mm -hmm. So that's some of the work that we've done. It wasn't this. And we did like four sessions, five sessions. So something like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. All right.
so it's not that we've taken five, six months every day, you know, it's just like sessions, then you've taken time to integrate, apply. And yeah, that, that's what uh, we've done for much. Mm -hmm. Right. So exactly. So the things you've tried to, to overcome this, how did it go? All the techniques or methods or therapies you've tried, uh, how did it go? What do you think the way you um, tried yeah. didn't work? Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't do, like take any medicine that the doctors recommended. I didn't, I, I bought some books. That's um, all they recommend for The much. more, yeah, yes. what's that? Take this, I got the solution. Take this thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I also realized like kind of, and I remember you mentioned this to me is like when you're, when you're seeing a therapist or reading these books, like it, it was kind of just reminding myself that I have a problem. So the more mm -hmm. I dove into finding a solution, like through these books and in a, in a typical therapist, you know, your, your, your classic therapist, talk therapy, all that. The more I, the more I did that, the more I was like reinforcing that I had a problem. I wouldn't always feel good. I would feel even worse sometimes. So it didn't help me too much. Like until I kind of got with you um, and then things started shifting. There was like a couple, maybe not the first session, but I think it was like the second chess session. There'd be like a, a massive shift. Um, and that, that kind of impact, I couldn't, I couldn't find that anywhere else. There wasn't any it was, other. There was no logic. Or, yeah. 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 Actually, and let me yeah, on, let, jump on this like a concept of the book theories actually reinforces that, oh, there's something wrong with my brain. Here's why I can get a start because my brain sees I had trauma or my child and it gives you like, I call it pseudo scientific bullshit and sorry, science to mm -hmm. reinforce that thing you can't get unstuck. Oh, the reason why I'm stuck is because of this logical thing. That's why I can't. So, so instead of supporting you, actually, is reinforcing. Why it's difficult, you know, because my hormones, hormones, because my childhood, because my brain, this this scientific, it's because it's the scientific reason. And then there's nothing wrong with that. It's the attachment to the story, you know. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you notice that the attachment to the stories? I can't because yeah. I'm different because I'm unique because 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 because. Did you notice that in yourself? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's just my brain confirming like that I have an issue that. I'm, I'm unique because, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so what uh, the, the, the main shift, what, um, what are the main breakthroughs and shifts you noticed? So how you feel better now? So after sessions, the four or five sessions we've done, the main shift you notice and how you feel and how you understand yourself and how you better approach life and you go about your day and just how you feel on overall versus how you were before. before. Yeah. Um, main shift initially was just being more present and being less in, in my, in my head. I remember just being like, wow, I, I, I just went through like, I mean, this was a big step for me at that time, like, like three hours of just engaging with my kids or, or hanging out with a friend and not feeling, you know, the symptoms that I had, that was like the initial shift. And then what came a little later was like realizing, and my interactions, like, like coming into them with more confidence, uh, a little more peace with, uh, like I had, a, I had some problems with assertiveness and uh, speaking my truth. And I think, especially after it was one of those sessions, maybe like the third session or so, I think I, I really found myself like feeling that, that, or that, that, that need inside to express myself instead of holding stuff in um, whether it was to like people close to me, family members that I had, you know, some, some issues going on with. Um, but I definitely noticed um, confidence and assertiveness increasing as well, as well as the, the big reduction in symptoms mm -hmm. and, and, and an increase in presence. Presence. Mm -hmm. And again, we never talk about symptoms. I didn't even mention the name. <laughs> Did you notice know yeah, that? Yeah. We didn't even we didn't yeah. talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about. So it's actually interesting that there is a, I've noticed like a correlation between how much one talks about symptoms and how much one talks about their feelings. So the more, the, the more they talk about their, feeling, their symptoms, the more they're unaware of their feelings. The more they talk about their feelings, 
the more if they're on the right path for us to just mm. get rid of symptom or get rid, which time that they get rid, they leave indirectly. When you feel mm-hmm. safe, you feel grounded, and as a byproduct, you do um, restore the trust yourself, and as a result, mm-hmm. all the other shit leaves pretty much. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Right. So, how much was it <clears throat> important for you to have the, the results and the breakthroughs you've had? How much of an importance? Yes, yes. How much how important was that? It was very important for me to, to handle this because it was affecting my professional life. It was affecting my family life. It was affecting my day-to-day experience. So, yeah, I, I find I'm typically a happy guy. I, I, I enjoy life. I have a lot of hobbies. And to have those, like, stripped from me, the joy from them, I was like, I want this back. I want, I want my life back. So it was, it was a high importance for me. And that's why I was willing to, to, to invest the time and, and invest with you um, because I, I knew that, that, you know, it would be well worth it. If I, if I could get any kind of gain that was substantial and, and my life back, like it would, it would be worth it to me. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So were your um, expectations that you had fulfilled from the beginning? Where, where, was, where, yeah, where the expectation that you had at the, the beginning? fulfilled um so like you're saying like how yeah the like expect- what i expected the, yeah, from- yeah the, the kind Sorry. of results and expectations were those fulfilled they had at the beginning like okay this 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 um work with him is going to give me those results were those expectations fulfilled now that we're, we're done oh yeah that they're, they're definitely fulfilled initially like I don't know if you, this is exactly what you were asking, but um, after like the first two sessions, like I was still kind of searching, like, am I, am I, am I getting the results that I want? You know, but I, I I think um, as we continue to do a few more sessions, I started to notice it more and more the impact and they wouldn't even be like immediate. It would sometimes be a few days later, a week later, I would notice like internal changes going on. Yeah, and that's the that's the beauty um, of it because it's not something yeah. you have to do logically, you know. It's just something mm-hmm. that's just there. Yeah, just like you know, and then just the new subconscious. In the same, this is like the way I like to think of, it, of this. Like to this, in the same way that it's a subconscious symptom, they keep it's there no matter how logically you try to rationalize it or get rid of it. The opposite mm-hmm. is true as well. So you feel trust and grounded. Now it's hard to do the opposite, you know? So it's the same, it's the, de- it's the default that we change. Mm. So that's, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So the problem, which has nothing to do with the symptoms and none of, the, none of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I'm curious, like what, um, when we started before, like what made you, because you know you tried uh, books, you know therapists, uh, ther- uh, other experts. So what made you choose me over the other options that you had there? Like why go like okay, let's let's uh, let's start with this guy. It's a good this question. Weird <laughs> yeah, Actually, uh, that. it's growing now. Yeah, it's cool. So I get. I guess what? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty fresh. Yeah, uh, I guess one of the the positives of doing my initial research was finding you, you know, because I, I found myself researching the topic, the um, derealization, you know, existential, um, obsessive thinking, anxiety, all that stuff. I found myself like diving into it and through YouTube videos and trying to find the answer, trying to figure out how can I fix this, you know, quickly. And um, just, I remember stumbling upon you and you're one of your videos. And then just kind of like, just I was just intrigued by what you were saying. I, I never heard anybody talk about it, about it like that before, and just you, the way you spoke about the underlying things that go underneath the anxiety, like the, the underlying um, causes and the emotional issues that a lot of people have. And as I was listening to you, I was like, I think I think I have some of these things like going on with me. Like it, it just made sense to me, and so the more I just listened to you, the more it resonated with me. 
and then you have your 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 free call which i thought was really cool like like just for free we were able to discuss like i don't think any other anybody out there is going to talk 45 minutes to an hour for free and even when we had that first free call i remember I remember like already feeling a ship. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, we touched something there. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just the way you were yeah. like asking the questions, it was like I could tell, like, wow, this guy, this guy knows what he's doing. Like this guy's, he, he's actually like, he's actually getting after what's really going on. The real stuff, real problem. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, awesome. So yeah, because there are many, there are other gurus there out there, like talking about you know, you know, the personalization, the situation, anxiety, all that. Especially anxiety gets more like a broader. Um, but you know, it's just isn't it the same shit? Like, isn't it the same acceptance and destruction and the yeah. same like grounding and meditation? You know, how do you find the the, the options out there, regardless of what I think of it? Because I think I think of it like from an expert view. But what, what do you think of as a say a student or say patient or client from perspective? Do you want like do you want just solve this? Uh, what is your view on this? Um, from the other videos that I watched, I feel like everybody thinks that their way is the right way. Like their advice is the solution. So you know they're 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 coming at, they're coming at it from a good heart, but they, I feel like they think their way is the right way. And in some ways, some of the things can help like the acceptance and all that, but I don't think they understood the full picture of it, the, the full picture of what's going on. I, I don't think they were, they were willing to, to really find out, like do the, do the internal work of, of what actually could be causing these issues rather than the, it's, I felt, it felt really surface level. A lot of that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Or like videos from teenagers like, oh yeah, I tried this like supplement. Oh, try that. And you know, free from that. Like, dude. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I I, I tried that too. I, I listened to them and I tried like a, the supplement, that supplement, and and you know, you think it might work for a few days. Oh, I think it's working. And then you're just back to ground zero after after a week, and you're like, oh. Well, maybe this isn't working. And then it's just a repetitive cycle trying to figure things out. Them solve the subconscious stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Awesome. So what can you do now? Danny, the, the things you can do now, how you manage, go for what you want now, just like the, the, the opp opportunities have been unlocked now and your horizons now, horizons now versus how it was before. So what are the things you can do much better now? You know, might be relationships, family goals, just the way you experience life now versus how it was before. Uh, I think listening to, to my emotions, listening to my, what I'm feeling. And if there's a situation where uh, I feel like I need to be assertive and speak up on things, like I can feel that a little more. Feel, okay, I'm feeling this. I want to speak on this. And I have the confidence to, to bring it up and I I'm, I'm willing to accept whatever's in return, like not being, not being afraid to offend people, not being afraid to, you know, and I'm talking like, it could be close family members. Um, you know, cause sometimes I'm kind of like, I was like a peacekeeper really mm -hmm. trying to, and I don't want, I don't want anybody to get upset and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want, I didn't want to feel negative. Um, that's another thing is like, accepting a negative feeling like sometimes I, I, and i'm still still go through this now where I, I might feel a little negative or a little mildly anxious and i'm not like over analyzing it like okay why am i feeling this? why am i feeling this way oh no i must be like going through something again no it's like it, it just it is what it is this is how i'm feeling and just accepting it and not not trying to always like get myself to feel good get myself to feel good yeah, accepting it when you've solved the subconscious stuff, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's different, I guess. Because yeah. because behind that, because uh, people are gonna go, oh, I just have to accept it. How can I do it? And they start to obsess on doing it. Now, okay, let, let me let me give you a, a then um, let me give like the overview. Now, what Danny is sharing to the um, people listening 
is the mm -hmm. logical solidification of the emotional conscious stuff we've done. So now, whatever mm -hmm. he's saying now, just like as a, the technical explanation of this, what he's saying now is the uh, it's easy. I just accept it. It's just it's just a, it's just a thought. It's just a feeling because mm -hmm. we've taken care of the emotional stuff. But for someone going through the emotional stuff now, they won't, they don't, don't see the thought as a thought. It's much more real emotional and they're going to start obsessor and all that stuff. So just to background explanation, mm -hmm. now he's here because we have solved the emotional stuff and logic is supporting that. But if the emotional stuff is not aligned, logic doesn't do anything. So you need to the emotion, heal the emotion and logic sorts itself out. Right. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. are you you could imagine this, Jenny. You could have said the same thing before. Mm -hmm. What imp what impact would have, would have had? You've tried that. Oh, it's just a thought, mm -hmm. just a feeling. Mm -hmm. Right. What impact did you try? I'm sure you tried that, right? Mm -hmm. What was the impact? How much did it help? Yeah, not not that much. Not, not that much. much. Right. I mean, no. Right. Yeah, it was so like see, it, it was. Right. It would, it would just be constantly checking like is this working is this is this strategy working or you know and it, it wouldn't nothing would really change yeah so it's the same it's the same like logical explanation you mm -hmm. know but it's the emotion that we've worked on so because people now they're watching this and they go oh yeah it's easy right yes we have done mm -hmm. the emotional work and there's a result of logic supporting that so mm -hmm. i don't want people to go oh I just have to accept it is that it no you have to do the emotional stuff, subconscious, that you need guidance for. It's not something you go, what is my subconscious block? What is my emotional... No. Just work mm -hmm. with an expert and just um, solve this shit, right? Um, okay. So so now, look, moving forward, how do you see your future now? And how do you feel looking at your future? And what are you most looking forward to in the goals you achieve? Just how you feel about the future moving forward. I look forward to challenging myself more going after my goals with more uh, less resistance mm -hmm. like more confidence more conf more confidence mm -hmm. uh, and then i'm kind of in the process of doing that right now just just i have my main job of going after some of these other uh side passions that i've always wanted to go after and without hesitation I think. And that's one thing you, we worked on towards the end, as I started, as we kind of solved some of the other issues is one thing that, that I, I liked that we really touched on, or, or you kind of what gave me a lot of clarity on was uh, going into challenges and, and how that's going to help me challenging myself, like uh, from a, on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that's one thing I, I really took from you um, towards the end. And I've kind of been running with that and it's been helping a lot. Yeah, awesome. Again, this is like the and it's it's easier, much easier now, easier now because we've solved the mm -hmm. lot emotional stuff. So again, so everyone listening, mm -hmm. it, with the, we've done the emotional, personal things, we untie them, and as a result, mm -hmm. it's much easier. Mm -hmm. You know, or oh, I see a thought as a thought because we have like mm -hmm. unlinked the emotional association with that thought, but you can't see a thought mm -hmm. as just a thought. If the emotional link is still there, right? So you, we that's what we worked on. And as a result, logic goes, oh yeah, it's easy. It's just a thought. Of course, after you've done the emotional stuff, you know. After you've yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, so all right. All right. So Chris, what would have happened mm -hmm. if you didn't if you didn't do this? If you didn't work with me, what, what would have happened? Mm, good question. I think. I think I, I, I'm always somebody who's tries to, I, I feel like I'm naturally a positive person and I have healthy habits, you know, and I think that helps me, um, keep a, keep a, a healthy mental mindset, uh, for the most part, but obviously I, I got into these issues. I think I would have figured it out because I'm, I'm, I have a will to, to, to find happiness but I do think it would have taken a lot longer than it has. I do think like like I would still be having these big ups and downs. Some people go for like years and decades they've tried to figure out. They don't, they know yeah. so much stuff. They know so yeah, much stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you never know what what could happen. So 
I think this just like expedited the process tenfold, just, just working with you. Awesome. So what would you say to people that keep, keep putting off, you know, after this next year, I'm going to do it. You know, I don't know if it's going to work. You know, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you'll get it better? Are you sure you are you sure like, mm-hmm. they like, keep putting off? They keep researching. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hold on. I'm just checking to make sure. Yeah. I have a lot of time here. Yeah. It's just good. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm good. On, I'm good on time. I'm good on yeah, time. Okay. I thought I had to go soon, but I'm no, yeah. no rush. Okay. Yeah. So, so sorry. What was your question yeah. again? So what would you say to people that are keep putting off fixing this and mm-hmm. they're like researching solutions and they, they want to get better. Of course they want to, they're looking for solutions, but what would you say to them? They keep putting off their no, if this is good, would help them. If this for them, if their situation can help them, or if I can help them with this, what would you say to them? <clears throat> I would say to the person you were before, like what would you tell tell him? I would say jump in, go for it. Like jump in that you you why do it? Why not resist? Why not doubt it? Why not? That's an option. Because because you know, you, life is short. Man. You don't want to spend like a good good amount of years of your life like suffering and trying to figure out these emotional issues that can be easily solved. I think like, you know, especially when you're, when you're, you know, I'm, I'm fairly young still in my, in my thirties, my mid thirties. So it's like, I want to be living life and enjoying life, you know, in my thirties and I got a family. So if you have family, friends around and, and you, and you have, if you have memories of, of having fun and enjoying life and, and, and all that, like, if you want that, because, because you know what it is, you know what that, that life is like, like it's, it's right there for you. Right. It's right there. You just got to invest in yourself. I think like that's the one thing that I did here was invest in myself and it paid off. You know, I think like, yeah, you can try to try to, you know, figure things out on your own or research stuff and, and hopefully find something that works for you. But that path can just lead you astray. And you end up wasting a lot of time and you might end up wasting even more money in the process with supplements and, yeah. and even, even, um, you know, ordinary therapy, I have insurance for a therapist, but it's still like 20 bucks. To, uh, if I kept going to her and, you know, after a while, it would have taken like 40 sessions and that's like, that yeah, adds time up to, you know? the fuel, and time too. you know, yeah. going there, it's logistical stuff, but this is all on, on, online. So just log in zoom. That's it. That's all the problem. Yeah. It's, just, it's like the yeah. simplest yeah. thing. It just, it, the, I've made it so simple. Show up, invest yourself, give 100%, log in on Zoom. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, it takes two seconds to book the session. This is the simplest and most effective, right? But it's simple, but it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It definitely wasn't always comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it, right. it does. It, did, it it does require you to like um, let go of expectations and just trust the process, and be willing. Be willing, and and I think something you always touched on was, uh, like having that vision of who you want to be. Like you know, you're in the future. Like how do you how do you want to interact with the world, and what what positive feelings you want mm-hmm. and make that the goal you know rather than fixing like <laughs> focusing on the negative yeah. yeah yeah or dissecting it or like trying to research because if you focus on the problem you get more of it <laughs> not a solution yeah yeah, yeah. so exactly. what's the what's the number one piece of advice that they will give to people that were stuck where you were what, what, what would you tell them aside from yeah, whatever whatever aside from investing in you yeah yeah oh yeah that's good it's something <laughs> like really unique they've learned or the some unique that made all difference you like to share gotcha um it's a good question i had to pick one thing i'd say like being willing to 
to look at the bigger picture of what's going on Mm -hmm. emotionally, like thinking about your past Mm -hmm. and be willing to kind of process those emotions and think about, or, or, or think about those things that, that have affected you. Those are those events, those Trump little tra- traumatic things or, or whatever. Um, Men's habits, be, protection. Yeah. Being, being willing to, to go, to go back and, and try to understand yourself better. It's, it's definitely because, because you can do all the surface level stuff, the acceptance and, Changing, changing your diet and, and even exercising, like all that stuff helps. But yeah, it helps. Um, yeah, the help, but doesn't touch this emotional stuff. Yeah, you know, all, all of it. That's great. It's like a co- comprehensive uh, package of solutions, you could say. But then it doesn't solve the emotional stuff. It's still there. Yeah, you have to yeah. go and solve that specific. Just like there, there is any solu- uh, solution for dentists, for for your eyes, for ears, for the uh, specialist for every part of the body. You know. There's a specialist for mm-hmm. the mind, the conscious mind, emotion, and solving this stuff, the symptoms and anxiety, shit, mm-hmm. and all that. All right. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is there anything you'd like to say that you should, they, they would like to say to me that you'd like to share with the audience too? Before we're wrapping up in a moment, I would just say, like, I was impressed by the way, the way you ran the whole at each session and. I feel like you have a, a, a natural ability to relate to people and to understand people. And I think it's not everybody has that, that ability. Not everybody and not, it's, it's rare. I feel like what you what you have, what you possess and also your care. I think like, like, cause you would always like check in on me and you were always willing to, to do, you know, the more work or find out what do whatever it takes to, to help me out and I, I don't think that's like that's not a common thing with therapists you know i, I don't think so so <laughs> thank you uh yeah uh, and i could just feel the love from you i think you do it for the love for the right reason so i think thank that you. i think that helps a lot too um yeah it does like and, i think it goes both ways so, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and especially now that my methods have gotten even better so that now they're even more powerful mm-hmm. so so yeah, because you, you're so young. Order. I mean, I, I can't, I can't imagine like as you continue to master this, like it, it, I can't imagine like how how many people you, you're going to be I'm able be, to help. I'm and, between twenty and thirty. And 30. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. Imagine when kind, you're like, in your forties. Yeah, if you're still doing this and you're in your forty, like yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm expecting big, bigger and big things from you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. This was pretty much the. Uh, when I was 15, I started when I was 15, actually, at, uh, in my room, there all the documents when I, um, this is definitely the main talent that I've, lear- I've noticed. It's, it's really what, um, what makes me unique. And I wanted to do like engineering. Mm-hmm. I like the engineering programming stuff. Like, I love to like to computer programming, but then I was like, nah, I want to learn a way, I want to find a way to, to use the analytical mind, but with emotions, like, so kind of mixed both. That, that's what I'm here mm-hmm. doing the, the both. So yeah, so that's why I have like yeah. emotions engineering, mind engineering, everything is like engineering process. So yeah, yeah. so it's been like <laughs> ten years of, of doing this stuff. Um, okay, yeah. awesome. All right, so for all the people interested in this, they can just go and book the discover call. So the discover call, as uh, Dennis said, is a forty-five minute conversation online with me, where I'm going to understand if I can help you. And if yes, let's do it. Invest in yourself and just. Just fucking do this. <laughs> That's it. And let's solve the real problem so the symptoms can leave on their own. That's it. Yeah. Now, and then did you did we try to get back to the old self? Because maybe some people go, oh, my old self, my old self. I'm like, the old self is what got you here. Why would you want to be them? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, yourself. Like, yeah. Yeah, not not to go on a, an, another uh, tangent again, yeah, but yeah. I remember, I remember thinking, like I started thinking back, like before I had the panic attacks or and whatever. I, I remember, like, I hadn't, I I had stuff going on even at that time, even even though it was my old self. Like I wasn't like this like super mm-hmm. happy, confident guy. Like I wasn't who I wanted to be. I'm still not, but I wasn't 
who I wanted to be at that time. Like I had a lot of stuff still going on. It just, you, you always look back and think like, Oh, I was better at that time. Or I wish I could be that guy. Well, no, that I had a lot of issues then too, even though I, everything wasn't all like popping out and emotionally like bursting out in panic mode. I still had stuff going on. And I think that's probably the case with a lot of people who've gotten to this point. It's like, this has been happening for a while, you know? Yeah. Now knowing it's the just, mind, knowing the mind of my students, I know that from all this conversation, the last minute, most people have focused on the, on that bit. I'm still not that person. So can you clarify on that? On like, what do you mean? Well, what not? I mean by, I'm, what I mean, yeah. What I mean by I'm still not is I'm, I'm still, I still want to be more confident. I still want to be more assertive. I still as, want as to as have a challenge, more. I mean, not as a problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like as a challenge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I know, I, that, I, know, you know, I know there's still more work to be done on my, on my part. Yeah. You know, cause you know, from not, all, not... all the good stuff of this chat, they're going to focus on that bit. Oh, I used to know she, <laughs> she's still not, I, I knew, I knew, I knew. Yeah. So had we not, <laughs> had I not known that my students mind, they would have left this, this, this uh, video going, Oh, I knew she, you see, I can do it. See? So you see yeah. the focus, master your focus. Master of focus, you know, right there. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> for me for this. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you, Danny. And so the next step for, for doing this is to just book your call record, the link below, or you can check out all the other testimonials, interviews for my students. And that's it. Thank you, Danny. I'm sure it's going to inspire many mm -hmm. people. Thank you cool. so much. Yeah. Thank you, Giuseppe. Thank you. Soon. All right. Take it easy. All right. Bye. All right, bye. All right, bye.